All right, hello everybody. Welcome back to another DFU tutorial. Today we'll be covering the target lists, which are your colored lists here in DFU, which are super helpful for staying organized and on top of uh, the stocks that you're interested in and making sure that you can always quickly add a stock that meets a particular characteristic uh, to a uh, corresponding list. Uh, so over here, I'm in the deep list module here. I click this, you can see I've got my red list, my yellow list, my uh, green list here, my blue list, and my purple list here. Uh, then I've also got my favorites over here on the left-hand side. And I can quickly, of course, switch in between each of these card lists. And I'll kind of walk through how I personally use uh, these card lists and also some suggestions in this video of how you can best make use of this really handy feature here in DFU that is pretty unique. So uh, first things first, these card lists are quick and easy to add. So if you're looking add a particular stock. Let's go back to the screener here, the screener module. Uh, you want to add IONQ to a particular list. What you want to do is click the logo here, and then you can quickly add it to any of the lists right here, or you can also uh, not, you know, take it out of a target list, or once again, add it to any of the lists um, by either clicking here, or once again, you can easily switch it to the yellow list here, and you can go ahead and move it using that. And you can see that right around the logo, this is now golden, this is now yellow, and you can see a few other names down here which have uh, a colored list. If you scroll through, uh, you've got Uber here, which is in my green list, uh, Z as well. Uh, so it's really handy as you're going through screen results, other watch lists, uh, to stay on top of you know what is where and just provide you know a visual indication of how you've sorted the stocks. Uh, so going back to the deep list module, um, I'm gonna walk through kind of my system for these lists and kind of why I've got um, it laid out this way. So uh, for me, I have about you know six main watch lists um, that I keep track of. I've got my thematic ETFs, which is my purple ETF. So these are uh, both sector and industry group ETFs. So I go through this to stay on top of uh, you know what's moving in the market, what areas of the market are strong, what are weak. Then I have my blue list, which I have dedicated to the stocks I deem uh, leaders at that point of time. Obviously, this is always changing depending on market action, but it's really handy to um, keep everything organized here and know quickly if a stock is on a particular uh, leader's list here. Uh, so I know to really pay attention to that if I screen uh, for up on volume and one of the stocks on there is a leader, uh, I know to really pay special attention to it. Uh, then I kind of have my system, my funnel, uh, to focus myself on the best ideas in the market at that time. I've got my wide weekly list, which is kind of my general uh, universe list for that week of stocks that are potentially actionable. Uh, then one you know, layer down, I've got ones that are really set up for the, the coming days, or they're higher quality depending on fundamental or technical characteristics. And uh, these, you know, I try to keep between 10 and 20 on a particular week, depending on how many opportunities are in the market. Um, and, you know, I always go through this list at the end of the day, uh, take a look through at how these stocks are performing. And then the last layer is on a particular day, I have my daily focus list, which on that day, these are the most actionable, uh, the, the stocks I'm most interested in watching their action to judge the market health, market conditions. Uh, they're really near a potential breakout. Um, and they're the ones I'm looking to potentially buy um, on that particular day. And then I use my favorites list over here, which is also always there um, and quick and handy uh, to actually store my portfolio. So that's kind of how I use the five lists, but uh, just to throw out a few suggestions, uh, for instance, you could set up the purple list to have all stocks that have triple digit earnings growth um, for the most recent quarter. Uh, so when you're going through other screens and, and other watch lists, um, and it shows purple over on the left hand side, you know that that stock has very strong earnings throughout the most recent quarter. Um, obviously you could do the same thing for a technical characteristic. Uh, if it's within you know 5% of highs, you could set it to uh, always be in your blue list there. Uh, and you could update that every week, every month. Um, and that way you know that that stock is pretty strong uh, technically if it does show up um, with that blue circle around it on another watch list. So, once again, in order to add a stock to um, a particular list, you can go ahead and click the logo, uh, either use the uh, red icon options here or go over here to the list here. Let's add this to the green one. 
Uh, if you want to switch it up, you can add to the red one, go ahead and click move, or you can also go ahead and take it off all the lists or even go ahead and add it to another list over here uh, using that extended menu. Uh, now, in order to add multiple stocks to a particular list, say you're running a screen that looks for all stocks uh, that have triple digit earnings growth the most recent quarter, as I mentioned, you can always go ahead and select all, then go add to, then select the corresponding list. Or if you don't want to add all of them, you can take that away and just go through uh, the different names, tab through, uh, and select all the ones you want to add to a particular list here. And once again, over, go over here to add to and then pick the corresponding watch list. So um, in essence, the target list, the color list here are designed to help you stay organized. And they basically allow you to very quickly and easily add a stock to a particular watch list in two clicks um, and, you know, help keep you organized, which is the name of the game that helps you execute better. Uh, and, uh, you know, I think this is a really handy feature that a lot of people can uh, find amazing ways to use. So let us know uh, how you're using the target list down below in the comment section. Um, and uh, thanks for watching. I hope you, I answered all your guys' questions, but if you have any others, uh, let us know down below. And with that, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in future tutorials. Take care.